possibly a tire that, that didn't balance properly and it just got worse. Joey, you know that any vibration when you're in a pack like this, especially when you're a rookie, oh, there it Whoa. goes! In the middle. Oh, oh no. Austin oh, weighs no. himself and upside down is the 45 of Majeski. Let's hope he gets back on his tires here. That thing's square on the roof. What a shame. Uh, Time at Jeske and his truck comes to a stop. You just know with all that movement, bouncing back and forth, side to side, trying to side draft. One guy zigs, the other one zags, and you have a mess. Damage, there's the 22 of Austin Wayne Self. Austin, don't get stuck there. Back it up. Wow. All right, now try to turn it. The rescue crew is getting to Ty Majeski's vehicle. Look at the front tire is still spinning. That right, oh, it's upside down, left front. Just shows you the speed, all the energy those trucks have. I threw it, and it's it's a it's a very scary feeling, uh, and a lot different than than what you're used to in a crash. And you know, the good thing is, it doesn't look like he made any big impacts. He just flipped over and got stuck on its lid. Um, you know, and if they're giving a thumbs up, hopefully he's okay in there. Uh, the worst part, though, seems like you're just sitting there upside down. And think about when you unhook those belts, that's where you can really injure yourself, uh, you know, as you fall into what is the roof of the truck. Uh, when you undo those belts, it all you know, all the lap belts and the uh, shoulder belts come undone at the same time. Uh, so being smart about how you hold yourself up at this point. As they roll this truck back over on its tires and uh, See the damage to the top of that Nice Motorsports Chevrolet. There's a little more damage there than I gave it credit for. Yeah, that's. Appreciate your optimism, though. You know, I always think that you're never out of these things. <laughs> <laughs> Look what Eric Jones did the other night in the clash, right? You never know what can happen in these things. Didn't Earnhardt flip one over before and came back out? <laughs> yeah, on the back stretch. <laughs> As Ty Majeski climbs from that truck. I tell you, they rolled that truck over very gently. That was pretty impressive how they can do that. What a ride for Ty Majeski. One he won't soon forget. In back of the... That's Fogelman in the 0-2, oh, wasn't two, it? 0-2, yeah, and then, man, he just... Majeski just turned sideways down the front, and it just tipped right over. NASCAR does so much work in the wind tunnel to have... Uh, flaps, air flaps, different panels on the truck that blow away that is supposed to prevent that, but probably just one of those circumstances that put him in a real, real in real jeopardy. Yeah, and you know, bumping through the trioval here is the sketchiest place to do it. Um, and you see that, that big set that you saw that white truck make right there. Um, he needed room to save it. Uh, and you try to do everything you can to not run into other cars. You try to do everything you can to keep your truck going straight. And uh, unfortunately, wrong place at the wrong time for Ty. Nine trucks involved. Let's ride along with the 16 of Austin Hill and see his perspective. That's the best perspective to have of a wreck, Vince. Yeah, pretty mirror. Riding in a wreck behind you. That wreck is big time. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. All right, caution's out, back it down. Roll out easy. There's the push. And push in the trial was just not the idea place this time of the race especially, but you just it's hard to make it work through there, isn't it? Yeah, and it's just not the spot to do it. And and these are some of the mistakes that will be made throughout this race. As as these drivers have more and more experience, they realize, hey, don't touch each other going through that trioval. It is a, a decent turn and it doesn't have the banking that turns one, two, three, and four have. Uh, it's quite a bit flatter. So the car's not compressed into the racetrack, loaded like you really want it to. It's an uneasy feeling, especially when someone's tagging you in the back bumper. Although he didn't do it in a malicious way. He was doing it trying to move his lane forward and trying to uh, you know, ultimately gain some stage points. But unfortunately, uh, you know, some cars are more stable in those spots than others. And some lessons learned uh, the hard way here. Yeah, really hard for Todd Majeski. Todd was, Gillen will go on to race, but learn a valuable lesson. A couple of guys made some amazing moves to get low on the racetrack and miss this mess. 
How about those beautiful pictures from our Fox Sports cameramen, women, just doing an amazing job showing the folks at home the violence of this big flip and slide down the front straightaway. The Great American Race. You don't get a name like that by chance. No, that's something you earn. Because this isn't just another race. It's a run at history. Sunday at 2.30 Eastern on Fox.